Hey, what's going on? Uh, Yankee Tanker here. Was asked by a guy that runs one of our larger kayaking groups on Facebook to do a walkthrough of our boats. Kind of give other anglers an idea about what to do on tournament day or just going out. So I'll start with mine. Uh, I have a feel free 11 and a half lure. Bought it at Headwaters in Lodi. Went to go see those guys. Those guys are phenomenal. Go there to get your kayak. Dan is fantastic. Kind of will start from the front of the boat. Um, obviously, you can tell. Put some lights on it. Uh, just recently did that. You guys probably saw that. Saw that I installed a rocker switch uh, in there as well. And it's powered by a 12 volt, uh, 8 AH. It's kept in the hatch. It's out of the way. It's down there with Velcro. You can take it out very easily. On the other side, if I run a GoPro, this is what I run it off of. Um, works great, keeps my GoPro going for a long time. I did another video on that, so I'm not gonna really hash on that. Coming on this side, typical anchor trolley. Need one, I think they're crucial. Uh, I think I have a three and a half pound claw anchor. Uh, that gets you know, always attached and I just pull it up and throw it behind the back over there. Sonar pod, uh, Lawrence 4 um, gets the job done, especially when you're fishing in the Delta, you really don't need one. Uh, regarding the PDF, I do have a Mustang. Um, it is not automatic. I know a lot of guys will be giving me some shit about this, but I fish a lot of tournaments on boats and so so I wear a boat. Uh, I've been kayaking since I've been eight years old. I'm 41. Uh, I've never been in a situation where I got knocked out or I wasn't aware of my surroundings, even with speed boats around. Um, not to say that it won't happen, but that's what I wear on the water. That's it. Carry a backpack, uh, and that's always on me, just so you know. Backpack in here uh, is food. It's food. It's a little medical kit. It's my fishing license, sunglasses, uh, and some toiletries, uh, you know, like wet wipes and stuff like that. It's a real hot day, you wanna wipe yourself down, whatever it may be. Uh, I also take this out with me, uh, and all this stuff goes on. This holds like cold drinks, it's got an ice pack, it's great. It's good for long days, especially in the California heat. Uh, coming up through the kayak, obviously, the paddle and everything. One of the greatest things that I've bought, this is where I keep my scissors. This is a little retractable leash line. Uh, Made by T-Rain, the adapter comes, fits perfectly in, the, in the, the tracks that are already built into the feel free. It's great, I never have to fumble around looking for my scissors. In regards to pliers, I actually found this really cool carabiner uh, at REI. It separates, which is great, um, but if the boat, God forbid, goes over, it will be attached, I won't lose those. Uh, so it's just always a positive thing. Can't get that together, I'll sell it even more. My seat is typically at this height uh, when I fish. Throw my soft plastics under here. Um, easy to get to. These pockets are great. They usually hold miscellaneous stuff like sunblock or something smaller. Uh, coming to the back, hog trough attached to the black pack uh, with the Yak Attack kind of uh, with the, uh, uh, the ones that hold it on there. And so. Uh, not used the hog trout yet. I haven't fished a tournament in a kayak yet. I'm going to do a ton of it in 2017. I can grab that from my seat and whip it around. I just can't get it back in. So most likely it'll get stuffed under the seat after I catch my first fish. I have a black pack. Installed a side pocket on here. Holds my leader line and stuff like that. One of the interesting things that I did too, saw this on YouTube. This is a fish grip. It's attached to the seat. Uh, this net is attached to this wire. These won't come off. Uh, it tucks in real nice and neat in the back right there, but the fish grip is for, if you catch a fish, and you don't, you're not prepared for it, you can grip the fish, it'll lock, put it back in the water, so you're not really hurting the fish that much. Get your stuff together, measure the fish, weigh the fish, whatever it may be. Uh, kind of walk around the other side of the kayak. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. Uh, you know, I installed a cleat over here right as well. But that's my kayak. Um, Black Pack has got the only thing that's really special in here that I would recommend having is rope. Uh, 
my water shoes in there, a couple tackle boxes. I'm not prepared to go right now. This is how it's set up when I fish. That's pretty much it. And uh, that's it.